Hi, I'm Val Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning. Thank you and welcome back to the Bounder Beebe Show. I'm your host, Bounder Beebe. Today I'm talking with Rick Dunlap. He's going to talk about that we've had so many commercials. You, I know you think you know this, but Medicare open enrollment. He's going to give us some of the finer details. Rick, thank you and welcome for being here. Hey, good morning and thank you for the time. Thank you. All right. My audience say they they they've heard so much about medical uh, open enrollment. They say they're more confused than ever. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll clear that up right here. Give me some information. We know the deadline is December the seventh, but I have a couple of questions. If I could ask you this, my well, my first question came from early in a week on Instagram. The poster wanted to know they only have Medicare Part A by choice. Do they still have to have Part B to do uh, uh, these plans that are being offered? About it, that's a that's a great question. And so um, I would I would recommend that they actually consult with the Social Security office. But my um, instinct tells me that because they have Part B, they have that deferred for some reason. They might have alternative coverage. And so I think they they should probably check in with the social their local Social Security office to be sure. Um, just to, just to validate that, but but you know, having not having Part B suggests they may have a deferral of some sort. Thank you so much for taking that question today. My sure. guest is Rick Dunlap, CEO of United Healthcare, Medicare, and Retirement. So, Rick, there's a lot of obviously you can tell there's a lot of questions that we as consumers have. So, um, why is the Medicare annual enrollment deadline? Well, we know it's on the seventh. Why is the seventh so important? Is that just a a benchmark that somebody pulled out of the air? Oh, no, not necessarily. It's always it's always extended from October 15th to December the 7th. So it's 54 days where, you know, consumers, Medicare beneficiaries across the country have the opportunity to update their plans to take advantage of the great options that are out there that are going to most uh, best, you know, match their financial changes or their health status changes and take advantage of savings opportunities that are out there. So it cuts off every year on December the 7th, and folks can shop straight up until and enroll up till midnight on December the 7th. Okay. There seems to be two types of plans uh, uh, offered. One says it's a supplement, and I guess one's a primary plan. Are those two different plans, or we're just confused? Oh, no, no. They, they're two different plans. You're not confused. So original Medicare really only covers about 80% of total total costs. And so many consumers, Medicare beneficiaries, will actually opt in for a Medicare supplement, which picks up, you know, the other 20 percent. But it doesn't cover a lot of additional, you know, options. And so that's where Medicare Advantage has become incredibly popular. And now nearly 40 percent of Medicare beneficiaries across the United States have opted into Medicare Advantage. And they like it because what it does is it gives them very predictable financial, you know, uh, obligations or, or requirements. So, it, you know, if they have a tough year, you know, from a health perspective, they can understand that their uh, medic or their financial, you know, obligation is is limited. But as much as that, um, folks love the added benefits. And so, what they that's not available with the Medicare supplement that's available with Medicare Advantage is dental plans, a vision plan, hearing plans. Um, with the United Healthcare Medicare Advantage plan, you have access to, to Renew Active, which is the largest network of gyms and athletic centers across the United States. And if you're not one to go to the gym during the pandemic, you've got thousands of videos available to you and you can exercise from the convenience of your own home. Ah, well, when you guys get somebody to exercise for me, I think that's when I'm going to get excited. But until then, <laughs> when, when, we, when we get this Medicare plan, what are the key points, Rick, that we need to consider? Because there's so much, I think we're overlooking some of the key points. Yeah, so, so that's, you know, you know, people can have a tendency to just kind of t- take a look at the premium and feel like they really understand it, but they really want to take a look at the, you know, kind of the line item benefits to make sure that they understand what's included. And oftentimes it really starts with making a list of, you know, who the, who's your healthcare team, you know, who are the physicians that are, that are caring for you, um, access to a hospital, if you, you know, should need to do that or pharmacies, things of that nature. And you want to make a list of, you know, the, the medications you're currently taking or think you, you might take in the, in the future what those healthcare goals from a wellness perspective are, and then take a look at plans that are gonna match up with those goals 
at the most affordable level, not only looking at the premium, but look at, uh, you know, the, the, the co-pays or, or the annual, you know, out-of-pocket limit. You know, you just, you want to study these things. And if you need to, you can use an agent to help you out. Okay. That was my final question. Is there someone to help guide us through this? This is so much information coming at people. Can you imagine seniors making this, this, this decision without anyone to help them? Yes. And I honestly, I think it, it, it can be rough, but there are some who, who like to do it on their own. But if you're um, a little bit uh, uncertain or you just want some validation in your thinking, I would strongly suggest you consult with an agent. Um, if you don't have one, you could you know ask a friend who they use or you could check myuhcagent.com and it'll, you know, you enter your zip code and a nice list of folks will pop up there and we include photos so you can see who you're working with. And the whole experience can be done from the convenience, uh, uh, you know, done online. So, so it's all done virtually and, and safe. Um, or if you're an online shopper who's going to take care of it all yourself, you can check UHCMedicareHealthPlans.com and enroll, uh, enroll with a great plan in your area. Rick, this has been a very valuable conversation. I really thank you for taking the time to stop by the Valder BB Show and to help my audience. My audience is made of up primarily of 89.9% baby boomer women. And those are the people who are choosing these health plans. So thank you so very much. Valder, thank you. And, and, and I really appreciate the time. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.